Hi, it's Koi. And it's Adam. So today we'll be talking about 3D printing. What, what's the big deal about 3D printing, Koi? I'd say it's pretty popular because when you work for a company and you're trying to design a product, they want to make sure that the product works before they invest uh, millions into, or hundreds of thousands, into developing a massively produced product mm -hmm. uh, and then figuring out that doesn't work. So uh, back in the day before they had 3D printing, they had to create the part either through uh, machining or uh, any other custom manufacturing process and that would take a lot of time and reduce productivity and it reduced the amount of time before they can get a product uh, really developed and optimized. So what they have today is something called 3D printing. The rapid prototyping itself has actually existed for a while. Uh, 3D printing is essentially the same idea, it's just really popular now, partly because it's so much more accessible. Uh, the price of 3D printing technologies in general has gone way down. What we have done is created a 3D model of a mushroom from the Mario Kingdom. Koi actually spent some time designing that and he just passed it on to me. And actually we're going to uh, get it off this computer and onto my printer, which I happen to have in my room here. And uh, we'll show you how that goes. We just sent the file from my other computer to this laptop here, which is plugged into my 3D printer. I'm gonna pull it up in Repetier Host. This is uh, some open source 3D printer software. This is just a 3D space of the available uh, print space. This blue thing here is the mushroom that we're going to print. Now, the next thing you gotta do is once you've put it in the space you want, you have to slice it. And what slicing does is it evaluates the model and will calculate the path that the printhead has to take at each layer of the print. Uh, because that's how 3D printing works, is it, it splits your model into discrete layers and then draws out basically in plastic the first layer and then over top of that the next layer and so on until you have a complete model. And Slicer automatically calculates all of that for you based on whatever uh, settings you have. In this case, I'm going to let it calculate. I have a 20% infill setting. so. From the outside it'll look complete, but on the inside it'll actually have a hex pattern to it so that it saves some material. And you can see this is actually going to run with a little bit of support material because the overhang is a little bit large, but that should look okay. And now we're going to heat the printer up and next we'll show you it uh, running. It turns out we've got the extruder heated up currently to 233 out of 235 degrees and the bed is at 99.8 degrees Celsius so I'm gonna hit start So Koi, uh, the print just finished. Yeah, there you go. The fruits of our labor. Peel that off. So right now what you got is the support material. Yeah, this right here. Yeah. This is almost exactly what I modeled. These eyes right here, I imagine them being a bit bigger, but I think once you go paint on them, it should be fine. Yeah. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little lip here on the end, which I didn't expect, but that's just a quirk of the 3D printer. Um, if you get higher end 3D printers, you can probably eliminate all these things, but for the person who are doing, this is pretty good. Yeah. On the top here, you can notice that it, it becomes really smooth here, and then as it goes to the top, it becomes a little, uh, you, can, you can just notice a little more of the overlapping filament, but again, that's something that's to be expected with a household 3D printer. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, it's a really good sample, it's exactly what I imagined. It's a little, it's a cute little size, yep. it's in the palm of your hand. Uh, and then uh, we'll hopefully get you guys an image of the uh, finished product where it's painted. Sounds good. So I want the acrylic paint. It's non-toxic, uh, water washable, and it has a pretty good end result as you guys can see here. 